from the dirtiest wastewaters coming from the private industries, public facilities, and small communities, converted into crystal clear and odorless water which is safe to discharge into the natural environment according to the DENR EMB standards. So how did we do it? By treating wastewater with low-cost and nature-based wastewater treatment technologies like the vertical flow constructed wetland and the horizontal flow constructed wetland deployed by the Department of Science and Technology Region 11. Like the 600 square meter vertical halophyte filter system at the Ma'a Slaughterhouse which treats 90 cubic meter of slaughterhouse wastewater every day. And the 700 square meter enhanced hybrid constructed wetland at Syntec AgriBioCorp with a capacity of 40 cubic meter of poultry wastewater per day. Smaller hybrid constructed wetlands have been installed for other poultry farms like Nature's Nuke Farm where a 90 square meter hybrid system treats the wastewater of a broiler farm with a capacity of 180,000 heads. And a 130 square meter hybrid system at exclusive Al Ruvi for 300,000 heads. But the DUST Region 11 also deployed this 200 square meter vertical flow constructed wetland at Rivera Medical Center Incorporated, which treats 14 cubic meter of hospital wastewater per day. Smaller filter systems have been constructed for meat processing facilities like Swiss Deli, a pineapple packaging plant at Davco, Brangel's Bakery, Marwabemco Banana Packaging Plant, and public offices like the USD 11 Regional Office. But also for the public market in LGU Gloria, Oriental Mindoro. Furthermore, the technology is integrated in the design of public toilet facilities in which wastewater coming from these public toilets is treated before being discharged into the natural environment. Currently, these toilet facilities have been made portable for rapid deployment in remote areas where the system can provide proper sanitation and reduce environmental pollution in areas of most socio-economic significance. So, how does it work? The VHFS technology can be used for different types of wastewater as mentioned earlier. However, in this sample video, we focus on wastewater coming from a public toilet facility. The wastewater coming from this container-type toilet facility will flow towards a three-chamber septic tank which is the pre-treatment of the filter system. A three-chamber septic tank is the minimum requirement but necessary to remove the sludge and scum from the wastewater. By under and overflows, the wastewater will move from chamber to chamber in which it's anaerobically treated and filtered from sludges oil fats and greases before it flows inside the incorporated pump well. Inside of the pump well, a submersible sewage pump is installed in which the capacity of the pump alters according to the size and capacity of the VHFS. The pump is regulated by an automatic pump regulator. Also, this automatic system alters according to the design and specifications of the constructed wetland. The pump pumps the anaerobically treated wastewater into the main irrigation supply lines, which feeds perforated irrigation pipes, which are strategically positioned to employ an even distribution of wastewater over the filter bed. The holes in the irrigation pipes are carefully positioned to make sure that every square meter is equally irrigated. The substrates inside a conventional vertical flow constructed wetland is mostly a mixture of different types of filter media. The DOST Region 11 has invented its own formula and therefore named the technology Vertical Halophyte Filter System, in short VHFS. However, the VHFS still employs a vertical flow of wastewater through the filter bed and therefore remains a type of vertical subsurface flow constructed wetland. Inside the VHFS, 
drainage pipes and maintenance pipes are installed. The vertical pipes are maintenance pipes and are attached to the horizontally positioned drainage pipes which are perforated and located in a layer of gravel which is protected by a geotextile cloth to prevent clogging of the drainage system. The drainage system is carefully designed to distribute the treated water towards the clear water well. Inside the clear water well, the water level within the VHFS can be altered according to the most favorable level which is dependent on the expectations of the filter. Due to the increased water level, the plants can transport more oxygen to the water in which a natural aeration process occurs. This makes the VHFS one of the most inexpensive and effective aerators on the market. Furthermore, the plants absorb heavy metals and other pollutants while the substrates are physically filtering coliform and biochemically neutralizing the pH level of the wastewater. Therefore, the water coming into the clear water well is clear, odorless, and can be discharged into the natural environment. However, in some cases, a horizontal flow constructed wetland is used as post treatment to increase the phosphate, nitrate, and ammonical nitrate removal if ever one of these components is a relevant parameter according to the DENR EMP. Unlike the VHFS, the water will flow inside the system solely by gravity. However, a similar drainage system is installed at the end of the basin to distribute the water to the second clear water well. The water flows through the filter bed horizontally and therefore it's called a horizontal flow constructed wetland. Similar to the VHFS, in this system, the water level can be altered as well, but prefers a more constant water level. The filtered water here flows out gradually or with high velocity according to the capacity of the system. From the second clear water well, the water can either be used for irrigation purposes, fish ponds, or directly discharged into the nearest surface water body. The combination of the VHFS with a horizontal flow constructed wetland as post treatment is called an enhanced hybrid constructed wetland. This system is one of the most effective decentralized wastewater treatment systems and has a life cycle of approximately 25 years with limited maintenance needed. Lastly, the system can be installed for a very competitive price in which it can be 8 to 10 times less expensive than alternative methods. This video is sponsored by Aquafit Environmental Consultancy Agency. We provide maintenance services for the upkeep of your constructed wetland in which we have highly specialized personnel to disinfect VHFS drainage systems, remove invasive species, update the automatic pump system, and flush out the drainage and irrigation system. Aquafit Environmental Consultancy Agency, your expert in constructed wetlands.